Wrestling fans, the Arm Dragon Sensation, second generation superstar LT Fog here, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. And if you want some real fucking advice, keep it realistic. Hey, remember this? $10 Ozark Trail spinning combo. Looks like I still have a drop shot tied on from last time. We're gonna try drop shotting on the $10 combo. Let's see if we can get a bite. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Like I said, we're gonna be fishing with a $10 spinning combo and a drop shot. I recently got a comment that said, do a drop shot video. I don't usually do requests, but we're doing a drop shot video. Let's see if we can get a bass. It's a warm summer evening and we're gonna finesse it a little bit with a drop shot. It's got an open hook. I gotta be careful about snags, but I got plenty of tackle in my pockets just in case. Let's get a bass tonight. Make sure the drag is tight. I think we're good. Let's get some. So my bait is on the bottom, my robo worm. And when I work the tip like this, just a little bit, it's dancing around down there, but it's pretty much staying by the bottom the whole time. I thought I had a bite there. You know, it's staying within about a foot of the bottom. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, with a rig like this, these weights always sink to the bottom first. If I keep the line a little bit tight, the worm will be about 10 inches off the bottom. If I let it go slack, it can sink to the bottom. So I dance it around like this and let it sink. And that's when the bass come and grab it. Let's keep fishing. I'm still using whatever line came on this rod and reel combo. I think it's 10 pound test mono, might be eight pound test. Just casting it out, letting it sink all the way to the bottom. And like I said, just kind of dancing it around, watching the line. If I see the line take off, I'm setting the hook. If I feel a bite, I'm setting the hook. It's got an exposed hook. Should be easy to hook a fish. Unlike a Texas rig or some other kind of rig where you hide the hook, that takes a harder hook set than fishing with a drop shot. I'm Tammy from Texas and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Oh, oh, that might have been a bite. I saw the line move just a little bit. Could have been something small. Could have been a nibble on the tail. When I went to set the hook, there was nothing there. Yeah, check it out. It's pulled down the hook shaft just a bit. I have a feeling something grabbed it and pulled. Let's keep going. Fish. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Yep, 
Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on. Let's get them. There we go. There we go. Fish flung my worm off. Dang it. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get a new worm on here or try a different bait. Wow. Here's that first fish. Yeah, that's a nice bass. Chunky. Chunky. Yeah, good one. First fish of the night. Got him on that drop shot. I would say this fish is about a pound and a half. Right? Pretty tall. Pretty thick. Nice. Nice first fish. Out here by the dock. All right, let's let him go. Jump. This is Slash Gills from the Juggalo Fishing Posse, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was a nice fish. $10 combo, catching bass like that. That's what it's all about. Let's go over my rig real fast one more time. See that? I got a couple of pinch on sinkers. Just two split shots. Then a regular bait hook. This looks like a size one. You could use a size two, three, four, five, six. You know, depends on what you're fishing for. This is a good size to weed out the bluegill, but hook the bass. Let's get a new bait on there and keep trying. Would you look at that? A tree fell down. A new tree fell down over here at the point. I see a blue heron. Scoping it out. Check this out. A piece of this huge tree Broke off right here, fell into the water. Looks like it goes out into the water about 25, 30 feet. That's pretty crazy. We're going with the X-Zone 4-inch Pro Series Slammer. This guy right here. Let's see if we can get a bite on this. Oh man, I'm up on the tree. I gotta keep my balance. I'm getting a little bit too old for this. This tree right here used to be a lot taller and it looks like the top of it broke off when this tree fell on it. I imagine that was pretty dramatic when it all happened. Oh, we'll try over here real quick. Why the hell not? fish. There we go. What do we got? Quarter pounder with cheese. Well, I'm glad I tried over there because I found one. Just a little quarter pounder with cheese here. Nice little fish. Got him on that X-Zone drop shot bait. Fishing it on a drop shot. Fish number two, let's let it go. My name is Dewey Cash, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. 
I've driven down a little ways. We're gonna fish this area before it gets too dark. Maybe we can catch one more bass, just maybe. Well, that's it for tonight. I caught two bass. The first one on the robo worm was pretty good. Maybe a pound and a half. The second one was a quarter pounder with cheese and I got that one on the X zone. You know, even with a drop shot, the fishing can be slow, slow and tedious. I spent about 45 minutes to an hour tonight. I got two fish. I guess that's okay, but I'm gonna hope the situation improves. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.